In 2019, YouTube was caught violating the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA. Since settling, YouTube has enacted new policies that are meant to serve as a smokescreen so they can dodge responsibility and scapegoat creators. As such, for my own protection, it is my obligation to advise you that this video is not aimed at children. My target audience is not children. Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is the Sentinel watching over Geekdom, and welcome back to Sentinel Reviews. Today we are concluding our look at the 10th Doctor and River Song with Ghosts, released in November of 2020. Written by Jonathan Morris, directed by Nicholas Briggs. Ghosts stars David Tennant as the Doctor and Alex Kingston as River Song. As always, I will be talking spoilers, but since this is a newer title, I will try to be less... Um forthcoming with them but if you're interested in the description box below will be a link to big finish's website where you can buy ghosts or you can get it as part of the 10th doctor and river song box set also nighttime recording again hence the less than ideal quality and poor lighting especially because my lamp seems to be on the fritz also because it is that time of year um my dad has just put up Christmas lights, and we've started using those projector laser light things. I'm sure you know the ones I'm talking about. So, and every so often they're going to peek in through my blind. So, if you see it, please don't get distracted. Now, on to Ghosts itself, which Ghosts is a decent story, and it is a good conclusion to this set. It's interesting, because it seems to have the... Rever it seems to be, for me anyway, the reverse of what Precious Annihilation was. You know, Precious Annihilation had an okay first act, a decent second act, and then a very lackluster third act that just dragged. See what I mean? Lamps on the fritz. Whereas Ghosts has sort of a very lacking first act, a decent second act, and then a very phenomenal third act. So what's the story here? Well, Ghosts begins with the 10th Doctor um, answering a distress signal sent by River to the planet Demony's Tomb, considered the most haunted planet in the galaxy and a major tourist trap because of its ghosts. However, the ghosts seem to be disappearing, and the Doctor and River are basically trying to figure out what's going on. And especially in this story, I know I've tried to with the past three because new releases, but especially in this story, I want to be as scant on the spoilers as possible because you really need to experience this story. And once you figure out what's going on, it is such a rewarding listen, as in once the mystery is solved. Um, it's got a really good emotional ending and not in the overly bombastic emotional of the Davies and Moffat era but it's very rewarding is what I'm trying to get to um once again David Tennant and Alex Kingston are great David Tennant once again has been toned down like he was in expiry dating but not to the degree that he was in expiry dating some of that obnoxious persona that I really don't like still comes through but not to the degree that it was that it was in Precious Annihilation and Alex Kingston is just flawless even when there are problems with River's character like during the Smith era Kingston is just so charismatic that she's able to work through those flaws um there's very small side cast here basically other tourists who've been stranded on this planet, Demony's Tomb. There is Alfie, his wife Betty. I'm, I'm going to get them mixed up, I just know it. Um, Ziggy and her brother Del. And and they're just there. They're, they're not that interesting. They're not that engaging. I feel like that's meant to be the point, but... <coughs> <coughs> oh goodness, excuse me. You know, they're not interesting characters, but I kind of feel like that's supposed to be the point. Um, but given what happens to them as this story goes on, it feels like there is supposed to be an emotional weight to them that just isn't there. And what else do I want to say? Um, 
like I said, the third act is just brilliant. And all the groundwork leading up to it is there, you know. There's all these things the Doctor, River, and the other characters say. And it starts... And it's really well paced, you know. Um, Like I said, the first act is the weakest. And it takes a while to get going. But once it gets going, it's really good. But the groundwork leading to the reveals is really well. The first act sets the scene. The second act starts asking the question. The third and the third act it gets gives us the answers and the payoff. It's really well paced. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is to say. The because again, I, I, part of the trouble is trying to avoid the spoilers of what's happening. Because like I said, this is a story you need to go in blind. And I feel like even saying some of these things, it's some. Um, it's giving too much away. But Ghosts is a decent finale. Um, I don't know if there's going to be more of these in the future. Um, in the making of, David, David Richardson said this was a pandemic spectacular in the same vein as... Great, now I'm forgetting what it was. Um, there was a fourth Doctor Leela um, story recorded earlier this year that was released during Pandemic... And there was also Out of Time. And in that same vein, this was another pandemic spectacular. You know, it was recorded during the pandemic. And so, because we're getting more Out of Time, I don't know if that means we're going to get more Tenth Doctor and River Song. I, I'm The way this story ends, though, I'd be fine if it ends here. Ghosts is good. It's really good. It takes a while to get going. But, man, by the time you get to the ending, it's just... It takes your breath away. I don't think it's as good... I don't think it's great, though. It it certainly goes above average, It, but it doesn't quite just do it for me. Does that make any sense? I'm going to give Ghosts a 7 out of 10. And overall, for the 10th Doctor and River Song, I would say Precious Annihilation is the weakest, then Ghost, and Expiry Dating was my favorite. So that's it. What were your thoughts on Ghosts? What were your thoughts on the 10th Doctor and River song? Start a conversation in the comments below and join me next week, where now that this is reviewed, we will begin our look at another digital bundle, Dark Shadows, the Quentin Collins Collection, and its first story, The Skinwalkers. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload, and in the description box below, you'll find the link to my Twitter where you can follow me and get updates on the channel. This is The Sentinel, watching over Geekdom, and I'll see you guys next time.